Hey guys and girls and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today we're going to be doing science. So let's open up our textbooks, get our pens out and let's begin. And yes I am using the Xbox 360 version because I'm not a PC gamer so any PC fanboys out there are just going to have to deal with it. And besides my laptop just isn't powerful enough. At least I don't think so, anyway. Ooh, where are we? There's a countdown on the wall. It's not a self-destruction timer already, is it? No! This place is going to blow up in less than a minute. And I've got no way of getting out. There's some happy music going on. Ooh, hello. What is this? It's a radio. Hello. Oh, so that wasn't a self-destruct timer. Oh, okay. Alright, um, okay guys, yeah. Welcome to Let's Play Portal. And there's our main character right there, the lovely Chell. Who is a test subject for Aperture Science. And here's our first test chamber. Now, as many of you may be already aware, this is a puzzle game. So if uh, you haven't played this and you want to play it, and Excellent. it's probably not a good idea you watch this. So, uh, the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. Well, this thing. This aperture science material prevents the patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. That's a bit of a mouthful for such a simple item. Uh, yeah, this is a puzzle game, so if you haven't played it and you want to play it and don't want to have it spoiled, so why are you still watching? Seriously. <laughs> but for the rest of you, hello and welcome. Welcome to Aperture Laboratories. Uh, been looking forward to doing this for quite a while now. And here we are in test chamber number one. Huh. I just saw the last one was test chamber one, but never mind, eh? Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Heavy duty super colliding super button. Another mouthful for such a simple item. Huh. So what we want to do is get this cube through here. And back through there, on the button. Back out quickly. Perfect. And let's Please go. Move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Oh dear. What would happen if you are exposed to the button for far too long? Do you grow a mutation? An, an extra limb? You know, an extra head? Another pair of testicles? I don't see why I need another loading screen. I mean, surely that's what the lift sequence is for. You're doing very well. Why, thank bad. you. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. So basically say goodbye to the insides of your mouth. Um, what's that we have down there? It's a funky looking thing that's firing portals. I reckon it's called a portal gun. <laughs> We can't get to it. I want to get to that thing. I also want to play DDR as well. <laughs> uh, what I've actually got to do is just got to wait for it to shoot through this hole. Boom! Evidently a portal gun has no effect on living tissue. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science Handheld Portal Device. 
With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Well, there's a good look at Chell. Well, a kind of good look at her. Little things on her feet are... Well, on her legs, they are long fall springs or something to that effect, if I remember rightly. And they prevent her from, well, shattering her shins if she falls from a great length. Or from a great height. Kind of primitive looking, but they obviously do the job. Test chamber number three. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. This isn't the London Underground. Mind the gap, please. Mind the gap, please. Oh, hang on. There we go. And we're over. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Bring your daughter to work day. Hmm. Uh, another thing about the emancipation gate, which you guys may already know, but I'm going to tell you anyway, is when you pass through it, it dissolves a portal. Which we're going to be finding out much later. But I've played this game enough times, so, you know, I've, I'm, I'll, I'll be alright with it. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Thank you. I've got our orange ball there. Storage cube there. What we need to do is fire a portal, well, anywhere around here, really. Grab the cube. Grab the cube. Thank you. And bring it through here. <coughs> Jobs again. Once again. Excellent work. Thanks. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby. Whoa. Kind of mad. Whoa, that almost made me feel dizzy, actually. <laughs> test chamber number five of 19. Oh, we're doing very well. Uh, what we want to do, and we've got a portal up there, so we need to shoot that th cube through it. There we go. Fire a portal over. Yeah. Grab the cube. Through the portal. Down here. And away we go. And we need to do the same because there's another cube up there. So, uh, we need to go through this portal. Fire a portal over there. Uh, yeah, that works. That was certainly not what I had intended. I didn't know you could fire a portal onto the actual platforms themselves. How about that? Now, I'm going to show you guys something. As you can see, if you take one cube off, the door stays closed. But it's actually possible... To ensure the safe performance of all authorised activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Sorry! Um, if I report over there, so I'm going to show you how you can actually trap yourself in this room. Grab a box, pop it down there, grab the other box, Pop it there. Hopefully I can jump high enough to... Perhaps not. What you need to do is you need to get high enough onto that platform in the corner. Let's grab that camera. I remember trying this last time. I wasn't able to get enough height. But I popped the camera on there and I managed to get up there. No worries. No worries. There we go. No, come on. Oh, chill. What's wrong with you? Come on, let's try that again. Right, there we go. Right, crouch. Grab a box and... Nope. Oh, crap it. I'm going to try eventually, guys. You can see that I nearly did it. I just crapped up a bit. There we go. You're not a good person. You 
know that, right? There we go. I practically trapped myself in that room. And GLaDOS had to open that door. In order to let me out. <laughs> As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Obviously. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Now, I don't know if it's possible to unlock the, the, the trap yourself in a room achievement in that room, but if it is, then way to go. You can get the achievement a little bit earlier than usual, I assume. <laughs>